Hey guys. Okay, so I posted on my Instagram stories asking to see if you guys wanted to see some home decor items that I was picking up today when I was out and about. And you all said yes, so I figured I'd just film a little video on it. And yeah, so let's just get started. Um, so I went to Home Goods, Target, and then I also ran by Michaels just because I needed a picture frame. Um, so I'll start with the Home Goods stuff, I guess. But the first thing that I picked up was this little, I don't even know what you call this. Taylor, what do you call this? What? What do you call this thing? I don't know. I don't know what you call this thing, but it's just like a little decorative like object and it was very um, restoration hardware-esque, so I thought it was really cute and I'll probably put it in the living room somewhere. I just haven't really decided yet. The next thing, I needed a little like vase to put some um, olive branches in. I want to do this in our guest bedroom, so this vase is actually perfect. I feel like our home goods that I have close to me, there's two different ones that are pretty close. They don't really get the best vases, so I was pretty lucky that I found this one. I just really liked that it was clear, then it has this hardware around it also. Um, but it was hard to find. I feel like you can't really find good vases at our home goods, but I like this one, so I picked this up. I'm just going to put, like I said, some olive branches to make it look cool. And yeah, that's going to go into our guest bedroom. The next thing I found was actually like, it's like my eye just like caught it when I was in Home Goods. Obviously, they like stack all the um, shelves like super, super packed. And this was like in the very back of one of the shelves. And it's just like a wooden like pedestal thing. And it's a little bit smaller. So my thought was I wanted to put some um, like lemons and limes on this and keep this in our our kitchen area so that's probably what I'll do with this but I just really liked how rustic it looked um, it also looks like something from Zara home so yeah I love this and it was only 15 bucks so can't beat that so if you've been following along obviously we've been redoing our guest bathroom and we have like a set of white towels but when I go somewhere um, and there's white towels, I love white towels, but if they're not my white towels, I always feel guilty getting like makeup and stuff on them. So I figured I would mix up not only white towels in our guest bath, but also do like an off color. So I just got this like beigey, like taupe color to mix up the white towels so that our guests, if anyone's like me, who feels guilty getting their makeup on white towels, can use these instead. And that's the option for that. And then in addition to towels, I got some bath mats. So these are from Home Goods as well. And it's a set of two. I don't know if I'll need both, but I just thought the pattern was really cool. Again, it reminded me something that like Zara Home would have. And it's only 17, 17 bucks for two of these. So super cute. And then two other kitchen items that I just grabbed when I was in there. Um, this is actually in the checkout line when I was checking out. But these are just, um, what are they called? Like hot what are these called oh my god i'm literally losing all of my words um to hold hot things with it's like mittens like hot like mittens if that makes sense and they're like a little bit they're cut off on the back like i feel like most of those like hot mitten things are like longer and so you have to put them all the way up your arm these ones are just shorter so just a little bit easier and of course it goes with the color theme that i have going on throughout the house so i thought these were cute and we needed these so that's why i got these um and then just a little scrubber for our dishes we need a new one of that as well and this little bamboo one is kind of cute not that that even really matters but anyway um i got these as well so we're gonna be putting up our christmas tree i think before thanksgiving we want to do a real tree and those don't come out until next weekend so like it's the weekend before Thanksgiving and then we're so we're gonna buy a real tree so that it will smell good and um, we'll probably invest in a fake one like the next next year not this year but we figured since we're hosting Thanksgiving we can do a real tree this year because it kind of I just feel like a real tree is a different vibe and it's I don't know we're kind of here for that so we're gonna do a real tree this year and then I just got some new um, ornaments to go on it the ornaments that I have I got um, a pack from Target a few years ago and it's all like red green and silver and I kind of wanted to do all one color because duh that's like what my whole life is like these days but this is kind of like a grayish silver and I also have some um like glass see-through ornaments so I thought this would look really good with this as well so these are going to be our new ornaments that we're going to put on our tree this year 
And then I'm trying to think if I've shown you everything. I actually just picked this up at Home Goods yesterday. It was the other one. So there's two Home Goods that are close to us. This one was the one that's like in Shamley area. And then all this other stuff that I just showed you was from the one that's over in like um, like the Lenox area or like Lindbergh. That's, that's the area that I'm looking for. So that's what all this stuff is from. But this one was in Shambly and it's actually going because I was hoping they had this one art piece there that I saw the other day that I was thinking I was going to get, which they did have, but I decided I wanted to do like kind of a mix. So I got this little art piece from Home Goods in Shambly and then which is going to go right there. And then I'm going to buy a print off Decineo, I think. I've already picked it out, but it's this really cool, like, black background with these white cranes. And it's kind of artistic, but it's also, like, has kind of, like, an Asian flair to it, if that makes sense. And I just really liked it. So I needed a bigger frame to go with that. And if you buy a frame off of, I think you can buy frames off Decineo, but... The frames off Decineo, like the large size, was like 100, it was like 80 bucks, I think, and this is only 50, and this is exactly what I wanted anyway. This is from Michaels, so I got this frame from Michaels, which is right next to Home Goods in Lindbergh, and it's 24 by 36. The print that I'm getting is actually smaller than that, so I had to get a white mat board as well, so I'll just put this in the frame and then cut whatever, whenever the um, print comes in, I'll just have to cut the the window for the the print but that's what it's going to look like right here so those two things and then i went to target and i got some hooks so we're going to do put some hooks up in the guest bedroom like in one of the corners so if our guests want to come hang something like their clothes or a hat or like a blanket or something they can just hang it on the hooks and i also got like this i ordered something off amazon it's like a just like a bulb on a, a wire. And so I'm gonna put one, like hook it up and like, I feel like I'm explaining this wrong, but like get the wire and the bulb is just gonna like wrap around and hang down from that. So it'll be just a little bit different. I've been seeing them on Pinterest a lot lately and I thought it was really cute and a little bit different. So I just wanted to do that in our guest bedroom as well. And then I got lamps, but they're already in there. So I'm gonna go grab them. So I got these lamps from Target. I got two of them, one for either side of our um, guest bed. And I love them. Taylor, my husband, does not like that they push light down. He wants it to go up. But we have round side tables in there, so I didn't want to do another just round basic lamp. Um, so I wanted something that had like the L or whatever this little angle is. Um, and I think these look really cool. They're like kind of honestly look like something you could get at Restoration Hardware also. And they just look minimal and you know, exactly what you need and it's just, they're smaller. So that's what we got. Um, but that's it. I got a few candles too. Candles are like my favorite thing to get at Home Goods. So I got a few candles. They have a lot of Christmas stuff out and yeah, it's pretty good. So I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little haul and I'm sure I will show you guys a reveal of all the decorating that we've been doing soon since we are having people over in just a few weeks.